to the Blue Dolphin News Network. I am Dwayne. And I am Anaya. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for our school motto. Be safe, live responsibly, understand, respect, and encourage each other. Go Blue Dolphins! You may be seated. Joke of the day. What do demons eat for breakfast? I don't know. What? Deviled eggs. <laughs> Here is a fun fact. Before becoming president, Lincoln lost five different elections. Quote of the day by Oscar Wilde. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Dolphins continue to make a splash. Hello, hello, amazing human beings. I hope you're having an awesome day today. Um, we've been speaking about how we need to be kind and our words are really powerful, right? So what we're going to be doing today is reading a very sweet book on kindness and how words can be a really powerful tool to show others how kind we are and how kind they can be because through you being kind, it causes other people to be kind. It's very infectious. It's a great way of being, okay? Showing love, showing something called empathy. That means that you're able to feel what other people are feeling during certain situations. So we're going to share, I'm going to share a really sweet book with you and it's called The Kindness Book. Make this nice and large, and I'm going to read this one to you. So the kindness book. What is kindness? Kindness is thinking about people's feelings and helping them feel good. Being kind makes you feel good too. Kindness is reading a bedtime story to someone you love. Kindness is taking care of your community. Kindness is holding the door open for someone. I love the taking care of your community, right? Kindness is listening. Kindness is keeping others safe. Kindness is free. Kindness is watching out for someone around you. Kindness is holding hands. So sweet. Love holding Ethan's hands. Ouch. Oops. Do you see that? They must have stepped on each other. You have to make sure you're careful what you're doing. Kindness is being there when someone needs you. Kindness is taking care of yourself. Really important. Self-care, right? Kindness is helping things grow. Kindness is saying something nice. Like, thank you for being my teacher. I love that little drawing. Kindness is not hurting someone's feelings. Kindness is saying sorry. So it says your hair looks funny. That wasn't kind. We're sorry. Let's be friends. That's a better way of being. Be kind to yourself. I love how she's hugging herself. Kindness is remembering everyone's feelings are important. Kindness is welcoming someone new to the family. Oh, look at the pigs. They welcome a skunk. That's amazing. Kindness is giving a bug a hug. Kindness is saying hello to someone new. Hello. Kindness is saying thank you to those who help others. Kindness is being nice to animals. Always, I always tell Ethan to be kind to the animals, even the bugs because they're our friends as well. Kindness is letting others be who they are. Kindness is cheering someone up when they are sad. That's very sweet. You could draw pictures for someone, give them flowers. It's easy to be kind. There are many ways to be kind. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. The end, love, Todd. That's a very sweet book. 
So we need to remember that just spreading kindness or small acts of kindness really go a long way. And different things like our words are super powerful, like a thank you, I love you, or you look beautiful today. I love those glasses. I love your shirt. I love that haircut. All little things like that are just really kind ways of being and of letting people know really nice things about them. So I hope you have an amazing day. Spread love, spread kindness, and remember that your words are very, very powerful.